Schools and workshops were being set up all over the city to train men in the arts in order to meet the growing demand. And with this supply of artists, the city reached the peak of its Renaissance status. But at the moment, the Medici Palace is not as lively as it used to be, for the family, in spite of their popularity, were overthrown by their enemies in 1494 and sent into exile. The city itself is once again an actual republic, although if the Medici family or some other like them decides to take over, there is no saying what exactly will stop them. Hold on a minute. What luck. Here is the head of the Chancery coming along now. We have a chance to meet an official of the city in person. Let us see if he's willing to talk. Signor Machiavelli, may we have a minute of your time? Oh, uh, see, si, I have a moment, but I must be swift, for I am on my way to an important meeting. Of course, we will only take a minute of your time. I just want to introduce you to a group of foreigners who have come to visit the city. Everyone, this is Niccolo Machiavelli. He has been an important character in Florence since the fall of the Medici family. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, welcome to our fair city. I have indeed been very involved in the government since the exile of the Medicis. In fact, I just returned yesterday from a diplomatic mission to the son of the Papa. Oh, I'm sorry. In English, of course, I mean the son of the Pope. A man by the name of Cesare Borgia. And I have been engaged in...